Cassie. And this week's, or month's rather, uh, extraordinary artist is joining us right here on stage. It is Carrie Kendall. How are you? Yes, yeah, extraordinary. That's what you are. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in today. Amazing. Amazing, spectacular. Amazing Network Girl. You're familiar with that, right? The Amazing Who? That's my album, so. Yeah, I'm that, yeah I've been playing that's the music. The, that's what we're going to be using. It's amazing. So. I love it. I will keep that up, and I'll be tweeting <laughs> about how amazing you are. And then and introduce me who's, uh, tell me who's here with you. Larry Garrett on drums. Who? Cool. And John Metcalf, the cool. guitarist. Cool. And, and we had the bass player. He had a flat tire, so. That's a in the rain, changing his tire. <laughs> scary spirit. We're like, bye. <laughs> Well, tell us what we should expect uh, this weekend from you. I have um, three albums of material that we're going to cover. Um, the first one was Dreaming of Oz that uh, John and myself did in 2001. And then uh, after that, I took a little hiatus and went into the recording studio by myself and did The Amazing Nowhere Girl and um, Superficial Journey. Nice. So we're going to pull a lot of stuff, material from those albums. I think the number one question, because it may rain, but we're still going to rock out and have a good time, is are we going to be able to dance? Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. I heard that this was a, kind of a jazz-oriented concert. It's whatever you make it. But we, <laughs> <laughs> it's good because I'm a little eclectic as a writer, so there'll be a little rock, a little blues, a little, you know, alternative stuff in there. So. Something for everybody. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. stuff, good stuff. We know I gotta ask, I wanna know, how did you get involved in songwriting and what made you the artist you are today? <laughs> um, a lot of practice, um, just never giving up and um, recording by myself a lot, um, learning to produce and record and, because uh, it certainly wasn't um, performing in the last several years, I took a long break, but when we were performing back in 2001, we did very well with Dreaming of Oz. We got a lot of good recognition from that and um, write-ups and stuff. So I thought, well, you know, why not do some more albums and see where that takes me? And then a friend of mine, Jimmy Fasic, decided that I should start performing live again. So I was like, okay, let's do that. Here we are. Now, you can.